Hey guys, it's Zach. This video will be describing the history of No Man's Land. So let's get right into it. No Man's Land is a 630-acre island located about a mile off of the southwest corner of Martha's Vineyard. A couple of months ago, we took the boat out there, about 30 nautical miles from Wakoit Bay, and we made a short drone video called No Man's Land in 4K. You should go check it out. The link will be in the description. As we pull up to the sign, you can kind of make out warning, restricted area, U.S. government property. It also says down at the bottom, live bombs. As it used to be a bombing range between 1954 and 1996. As you see, a unexploded bomb that was found on the island, hence why the sign says live bombs. So... What they would do is fly jets over the island and drop bombs, as you can see in this picture of a jet dropping bombs onto No Man's Land. If I show you this map, you can see Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and Long Island. And now if I zoom in a bit, you can see Falmouth to the north, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. This is no man's land. You can see small ponds and it is a wildlife refuge. The surrounding water is also a warming zone. If I change this to satellite mode and I zoom in you can see roads which were from the World War II base which I will get more into later. Up here you can see shipping crates and a shooting range. As I move over here, you can see small foundations from old buildings. This sand spit is the same one in the photo I showed you earlier. In 1602, Bartholomew Gosnell named No Man's Land Martha's Vineyard after his eldest daughter. But later, when the English came in the early 17th century, it was named No Man's Land, and the bigger island to the north was named Martha's Vineyard, as it is now. Now you see this small piece of rust here. That is a shipwreck, specifically the bow of the boat. Here it is before it rusted. It's called the Mo Kelly. And here is the drone footage of the shipwreck a couple decades later. If you can't see the resemblance, just pause the video and go back to the photo. Around the road here at the top of your screen, there is a strip, as you can see here. That's a runway, which was used by the U.S. Navy from 1942 to 1950. Now, as we go up the coast, you can see this inlet in the cliff, which looks like this. One strange thing I found while flying was that when I flew up to these shipping crates, the drone completely disconnected without hesitation, which is very strange and it leads me to think that there's still a radio signal coming from those crates. It wasn't that the drone was too far either. Comment below what you think is there. Something else is this center console boat sitting upright on the rocks. The island was used by the Navy at the beginning of World War II as No Man's Land Range. For 53 years, in those 53 years, the island was used as a bombing range and was bombed by the 509th Bomb Wing of the U.S. Air Force using FB-111 jets, dropping Mark 82 bombs as practice. 
There were two restricted airspace areas over the island until 2004 when they were revoked. And in 1997 and 1998, there was an effort to clear the island of ordnance, and later it was transferred to the Fish and Wildlife Service for use as a wildlife refuge. The island is now open to the public, at risk of course, but not very many people visit it because the only way to get out there is with your own boat, and there could still be unexplored ordnance under the ground that could potentially ruin your day. If we get 20 likes on this video, next summer we will travel back and explore the island. Go follow us on Instagram and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.